I need to get some chalk and write on here what is corresponding with our show, don't I? It says, scene, take, roll, date, director, cameraman, produce company, sound. Some of them I'd have to leave blank because I don't have a producer or a director or a cameraman or a sound man. I have a date and a scene, take, roll. Let's just pretend. It's cute. All right. My hands are so dry. You know, we live in Wyoming, and it's real dry weather here. Humidity, I think, is really low. But I've been so busy today, and it's now 5 o'clock at night. But I have a lot of things. I've been keeping notes to tell you guys because I've gotten a lot of questions about things. And I got a Timu haul. So it's not a real large one, but we're going to open it anyway. And I washed my hair this morning. I like to do it on Friday instead of Saturday. And so I just I let it air dry because I think hair dryers are bad for your hair. And a lot of hair comes out when you're doing that. So I just let it air dry. But this is my hair without anything. And so as you can see, it's a little wavy. It's not straight hair, which is good because I can either straighten it or go with the little wave and curl it. And so I can have it either way. And people are asking, what tricks do I use for my hair? Nothing. I just use like the cheap shampoo. Not I don't use Suave or, you know, that cheap shampoo. I use stuff like Aussie or fruit, I don't know, Tresemme or, you know, a little upgrade shampoo, but I never use the same thing twice. And the same with the, we used to call it cream rinse, same with the conditioner. I usually go to Ross and try to find a, you know, like a salon looking pump conditioner. Cause you know, when you have long hair, you use more conditioner, but you just use it on the ends. Cause you don't need it in here because you don't want greasy roots. But now that I'm old, I only wash my hair once a week because when you're old, if you didn't know this, you young people, you dry out and you're not as oil laden and you're not as, so your hair just, you know, mine only needs wash once a week. And so my scalp isn't oily or anything. So I'm not telling you oily scalp people only wash your hair once a week because I know people, they need to wash their hair more often. And the other thing is, um, her, your hair is hereditary. My dad, I was gonna get a picture of my dad because he had this same hair that was kind of wavy and he went gray real early, white haired. He was Grandpa White because his last name was White. And so he had white hair, it was perfect for him. But I have his hair. My mother, she went thin and she still had hair, but she wore a wig her last years of life because it was easier. But she she got thin on top, and I didn't inherit that. So, you know, what can we do? We inherit what we inherit. We can't really change that. So I'm not going to, I mean, and I dye my hair once a month. They say that's hard on your hair, but it doesn't seem to affect mine. And my daughter, the beautician, gets mad. Mom, buy it, Sally. Stop buying that dollar store crap. I just buy the Dollar Tree stuff because... So dollar twenty five. I'm not gonna pay somebody to do it for me or pay. It's not. I'd rather spend money on other things. Now I have a few things to update. These things I hauled last time, and I bought two packages, and they look like fish. And I didn't. I know I don't go fishing. I don't need any lures or anything. So I didn't know what it was, but I looked it up, and one person told me on the comments they are sewing machine threaders. And you know, my eyes are getting worse. And so if these work to thread your sewing machine needle, so I don't think they work for just a needle and thread, it's for your sewing machine needle. And they were like 78 cents for the two packages. So that's what those were. And this is supposed to be some kind of seam ripper. Boy, will it rip. I think it might be and the blade is on the inside. So this could be dangerous. You could rip right through 
Now I could see it be good for a buttonhole, but you wouldn't want to do it in the air or it could rip right. I've done that in my early sewing days, made a buttonhole and cut it open and then cut through the good stuff. And the other thing I wanted to show you, I have several things here. If you are a, a constant watcher of mine, some people do, they've, they binge me. I'm a binge, I'm a binge person. And they watched all my back ones, which is very informational because I touch on everything. I touch on my life's tragedies. I touch on my, like I had a baby die and I had a stalking person that went to jail because he almost killed me. You gotta watch that one. How I Met My Husband. Anyway, I have those kind of videos, real life stories. And then I have Timu and then I'm teaching you how to do things too. So, I'm just a well-rounded, all-around person, and I sweat a lot. I had to turn that heater on, it's so hot. It was a beautiful day today, and I went to town, and I donated all the closet cleaning stuff to the... We ha In our town, we do not have a humane society, or we do not have a... There's a Lucky's where you take your unwanted animals and stuff. I never went there. I don't even know where it is, where the dogs and cats go. And I guess I could take them there, but I don't know where it is. And then they have, uh, of course, we have veterinarians, but we have our used place isn't Goodwill. It's, they have a lot of adult um, handicapped people born with um, brain issues. I don't know what you're supposed to call them nowadays because, you know, I'm going to say it. We used to call them retarded, but you're not supposed to say that anymore. So you're supposed to just call them handicapped or disabled or I don't know but you old people know what I'm talking about they change the names of a lot of things nowadays and we have to keep up like down syndrome people and you know what we used to call them that started with an m we're not supposed to call them that anymore which I love those people they are so loving so you know I don't have anything against any of those people so if I say the wrong name it's not because I'm being you know wrong it's just because I'm illiterate and I do not know the correct terminology for nowadays so don't get mad at us old people because you know and I anyway so it was a beautiful day so I ran errands and I did all that stuff and I took my stuff donated my stuff those big bags from all my closets so now I can't go through them and try to take back and put back in there because you know hoarders do that they think about it and then they start saying, what did I give away? I gotta go look, maybe I want it back. You can't do that. Once it's gone, it's gone and move on. Just like our sins and just like our bad things that happen to us, it's gone, it's gone and move on. That could be a song instead of let it go. It could be, it's gone, it's gone, move on. But I'm not a songwriter. My brother is that speaks all the languages. He writes songs too. I wish I could get him on YouTube because he writes songs. He plays banjo, he sings, and he, he plays the guitar and he speaks all those languages and he's funny, but I don't think I could ever get him to come on. He lives as far, he lives not my town anyway. And then, um, so I went to town, it was a beautiful 34 degrees, sun shining, ran on my errands, and then we went to my son, Mr. B, Trevor, the, the school teacher, he has an apartment complex. I wanna do a podcast, a film of him in his apartments, because people leave the apartments. They are pigs, and what they do to the apartments and ruin them, and it's cost him like, thousands of dollars to get them back into shape and to take the stuff to the dump. And why are people slobs like that? Clean up after yourself, my goodness. Leaving all that stuff, what do you think is gonna happen to it? And why do they have to trash places? I don't understand that, you know? Take some pride in the yard and in your house and clean up. There's a garbage can. Burn your garbage if you can't afford. I, we burn our garbage. I'm not going to let it lay around here. So, you know, I want to get after those people who move out of an apartment and leave it like a pigsty. It was disgusting. And they have to clean it. Their little family. 
and then people don't pay the rent. Well, that he has a mortgage on those apartments. And then if they don't pay, his family has to use their family money to pay. Anyway, it's just a whole, I could, I think there are YouTube channels about that subject and they show it and everything. So I shouldn't get into that part of it. And then, so I went there, I took my husband and, you know, my husband's a builder. So he looked at stuff and they put new wood flooring in them that can get wet. You just, you don't want wood flooring that's water resistant or something because water can only stay on that for a little bit. You want waterproof so that if water sits on it because some renter is an idiot and they don't care, it won't ruin it. And I want that kind of floor in my kitchen. But right now I have tile that my husband laid and he put it like looking like a rug. It's, a, you know, it's a masterpiece tile laying, but they're starting to get cracks and I would love to get it, but it would cost I asked Trevor, how much would you think it would cost for me to do my kitchen and pay someone and buy the good stuff? He said about uh, $1,000. And I don't have that much money right now. Just laying or, you know, to be able to spend on a new kitchen floor when it, my other tile floor is still fine. And just remember, every floor gets sturdy no matter if it's beautiful or ugly. If you get a new fridge or you have your old one, a new stove, and all, they all get dirty. And so if you don't clean them, they're going to be old. Your new one will be old. That's just some wisdom. <laughs> you already know that. All right. I ordered this a while back. It's a blush. And I, I happen to order the right color, maybe. But then this morning I was in a hurry because, you know, I wanted to get to town. And so I just use it for lipstick. I loved it. That saved me, you know, maybe four seconds using it instead of getting out my lipstick. So I wanted to share that. This is Hechi, H-E-C-I Beauty Makeup Stick. But then if you were going to, you know, put it in your purse, you could just put this and it could double duty. Maybe you could use it in your eyes, everything just wanted to touch that and I ordered this other thing I wanted to show you and I did do it because you know we grandmas save boxes and really good boxes and I had bought this thing that was just black looking thing but it has the ring holes in it and so I'll show you and it was bigger so I measured it to get the most holes in it and then See, the rings go in here like this, see? My Moissanite rings, and it will fill up. But I bought it, and then I had to cut it to fit the box. So, you know, I did waste a couple. But it doesn't matter, because it was cheaper this way than buying one like this. That was, And it's for my son's classroom, for his... Because I gave him little girls' rings for their prizes, and I wanted him to display them well, so he could... So it's for my son. I'll give it to him when we do. That's another announcement I want to tell you. Sunday at 2 o'clock Mountain Time, my time, we are going to do the live podcast. And I wrote up the questions I'm going to ask the school teacher about kids, third graders. And um, we're going to do the live podcast, 2 o'clock Sunday. So tune in. He's going to come to my house and we'll sit in the living room with the good window light and we're going to do it. And then I thought I, I'm not going to, I'm going to give this to him in person with the mailbox. I'm going to give him, I'll give it to him in person and we can see what he says. Like mom, that's stupid. He won't do that though. Cause he's not that kind of a child. He's like respectful of me and polite and nice. And he wouldn't be rude. But we'll see what he does. <clears throat> and the other thing is, I've made a list here, a schedule of next week, what I'm going to do for my shows, my YouTube shows. Because I do put thought into it of things I can teach people, share with people, so people would want to watch me. So I'm going to tell you so you can look for them if you want to see that. All right. Sunday's going to be that live show. Now, I'm going to show... Um, one person 
because I, I love to read the comments. Thank you for your comments. I can't always answer all of them because I find myself spending all morning reading them and I look at the clock and it's 1130. I'm not even out of bed yet because I've been reading all the comments and answering some of them. And I can't do that because, you know, I have to get things done in the day. and I'm a get done person. And so, um, but I read this one person said, oh, you're rich. Your house is so big. But you have to understand, my husband built the house. He, we didn't have to pay labor to build the house 20 years ago. And so we only spent like, I say 280,000, my, what I kept track. But he says a little more. And I think it's because maybe the pond out front, the pool, he might've added extra that I didn't add. But anyway, for uh, this, we have 5,000 square foot home for 280,000. And now they tell me it's worth over a million, but I don't know that for sure. And it's, what's it worth if you're never going to sell it? Just a minute. And if it is worth a million or more, that doesn't help us because we're not going to sell it, number one. Number two, it just makes your taxes more because they go by what, you know, the going sell rate would be. So our taxes are more. And then it's like our house is paid for, but then we have to save at least 500 a month to pay the taxes. So we, your house is never paid for. You still have a house payment insurance, you know? So, and then you have a bigger house, your electric's more, you know, cleaning's more and all that stuff. So I'm not saying everybody should have a big house because maybe I'd like a small house, less to clean, less to heat, less taxes, you know, all that stuff, less upkeep. But I have to do what my husband did for me and he built it. And so I got to clean it and he would have a fit if I hired a cleaning woman. He'd say, you are lazy. But back to, oh, back to my... Thanks for the subscribers that are new and thanks for watching and commenting and giving a thumbs up and thanks for, you know, liking me, saying such nice things. I never had so many people be nice to me before and like me. And, you know, when you think back of all the friends you had in your life, I might have three still. The rest of them, of course, now my friends are dying. When you get old, your people you know, you can all up and down the road there, you can see people dead that died. When you're young, you didn't have many friends die. And then um, the other thing is, um, I'm just shocked by it all. But then sometimes I do watch other people's YouTubes and I think they should, like this one lady is showing Timu purchase that she bought underwear. And she goes, I never thought I would show my underwear on the internet or whatever. Now, she was so sober about it and the colors. And if I was showing my underwear on there, I would have to say some snide remark like, picture me in them. I know you're getting excited. I mean, I would have to say something snide about it because that's how my mind thinks. Okay, so back to this. I'm skipping all around. Are you following? All right, so next week, I'm going to do pocket blankets to show you how to do that. Yo-yo quilts. I'm going to teach you how to make yo-yos. It's real easy. I'm going to do some more dress modeling because I have about uh, 40 more dresses in there that I bought from Timu that we're going to model. I'm going to teach you how to make homemade mayo, mayonnaise. It's not like you think, dripping the oil in the eggs one drip at a time, that kind of mayo. It's not that kind. Because if you're poor and you don't have mayonnaise, you don't have oil either. I know that because oil is expensive. You do have to use two tablespoons of oil, but I'm going to teach how to make that. And I haven't done it in years because I haven't been that poor. But you know, they tell us uh, times are coming hard in front of us. <coughs> I hope not, but it might. And we might need to know how to make things from scratch and to keep up what we like best, like mayonnaise on our sandwiches. And I have a very good recipe, a chicken recipe that is a quick one, like my other quick ones, 
or it's a crock pot one. And did you know I used to drive a crab fishing boat, professional commercial crab fishing boat. I'm going to tell about that, show pictures and my house. Oh, I never finished this. My house, how I told you how much we spent on it and how much it, you know, it keeps costing, even though it's paid for. But I'm going to show you. They say, oh, you must be rich. You have a nice house. No, some of my stuff I got off the side of the road for free. And I reupholstered it and refinished it. So I'm going to take you on a house tour and show you those items that I got for free, that I redid and made it look new again and expensive, solid wood stuff and everything. And then I'm going to show you how to apply sunless tanning lotion that looks real. It doesn't turn orange. It doesn't streak on your legs. You don't have to have it on the palms of your hands. All the problems people have. And I always use it before I can go out in the real sun because, you know, I have good legs. Sorry, that's my best part of my body figure is my legs. So I like to wear, have a tan on my legs and not wear pantyhose all summer. And... All right, I'm going through my notes. Can't read my writing. All right, now, back, we have a team order, right? Oh, and I have a few more things to show you. Um, oh, the rug. Remember I showed you how to do the rug out of sheets, ripped sheets? And I've been working on mine. Last night I worked on mine, and I wanted to give an update to show you. I'm not just all about talk. I do it, too. This is how big mine's getting. So this was one sheet all ripped and it went this far. And then I'm on my second sheet. And here's the ball I have left. But the bigger you go, the more the string, I won't get this many rows out here. And then I have the other sheet that matches this that I'll probably put. And then I have a darker green, but I think I'm gonna give it to my one son, I haven't talked about my oldest son, Chad. He lives in our rental in uptown across the street from Mr. B, my other son, they live across the street from each other. And he, we put a wood floor in his apartment. He has a couple of dogs. His birthday's May 12th. I don't, he was my, he was born on Mother's Day. My first child was born on Mother's Day. It was the best Mother's Day gift I ever got. And he made me be a mother. But anyway, I think I'm going to give this rug to him to go on that big wood floor. It'll look beautiful. And it's washable for because he has a dog. All right. Now, I wanted to show you one thing before I get into Timu. That my husband and I love so much. Have you seen these kind of bowls? I bought them at Ross. But I wanted to show you. We love these salad spaghetti, you know, things like that, stew that has a little bit of gravy stuff. And you have a side, but it's like a plate. And I only bought two because I knew they were just for my husband and I when we eat. And I knew that he would have a fit buying new more dishes. But I've had them for about a year. But I want to buy a couple more because sometimes they're in the dishwasher and I don't want to wash it, but I want to eat out of one with my salad. So you might consider this if you ever saw them somewhere but I don't know where oh and guess why this is here this is my root touch up it's gone so I'm going to go on Amazon and see if I can order more because I'm not going out of town and get it at Walmart root touch up nice and easy refreshing spray color refreshing spray natural look covers gray Water resistant formula, oil free, temporarily lasts until you wash. But I'm going to tell you something. One time I'm watching TV, and I don't remember what it was about, but Julian, what's his name? Ruby, that one guy, attorney that was, when 9 11 happened, he was the mayor or something of New York. Rudy Giuliano, is that his name? Well, he was doing a show and talking. And anyway, I don't remember what it was about. I just remember he had these dark drips dripping down. 
I'm sure he used something like this and it, he was sweating and it was dripping down. And I notice now he has gray hair. I would Vince, I, the poor guy, somebody needed to hand him a handkerchief to wipe it. So if you had that problem of maybe you shouldn't use this, but if I use it back here in my part, that's all I use it for. If I sweat, I don't know. It never has happened to me, but it's great for in, be in between times because we start getting, you know, around here, it'll start getting pale looking because you're gray hair. If you notice that about me, oops, she needs to dye her hair soon. It's okay. If you see it, I saw it too. We can't be perfect all the time. All right. I think, uh, I did all of my list. All right. One last thing. I bought this warmer from Timu. And you wrap it around whatever your stomach. Would this go around my waist? I'm going to see. I bet it wouldn't. It's not going to go around a jumbo person's waist. No, it doesn't even come close. So, oh, wait. it does. It is a little longer than I thought. Oh, and it's elastic. Maybe it would go around. Let me see. I'll just do it for you guys, even though I don't really care because I wouldn't really wear it. It matches, but I don't think it would ever work. You'd have to put an extension on it, which is possible. The Velcro sticking to me. So let go, Velcro. All right. And there's, see, there's Velcro, but you would have to sew a little more on here to get for a jumbo person that has a waist larger than mine. All right, but it does heat up. Now I noticed I put it in, plugged it into my port thing and it's not as hot as if when you plug it right into the wall and there's no on and off switch. You just plug it in and then it's on. And so, but it does get warm. But I have to tell you a story. When my little girl was little, my oldest daughter, when she was like two and a half, I think, and she's talking and stuff. And I had the heating pad. I think I had an earache. So I had the heating pad and she came in. My kids talked real young. So anyway, she came in and she goes, what's that? What are you doing? What's that? Well, I always wanted to think if you could, if you taught your child, words that mean nothing but a whole different language would they learn it so i thought i'm gonna try this so anyway i said i had to think fast and i'm a terrible um liar and makeup i can't make up things off the cuff you know too honest so anyway i said it's called a fifa law and she goes a fifa law what's it for and i said well it warms up my ear and helps me that's why i'm telling it because this would be a fifa law so anyway, she called it that for years, you know, until she's like four. A fifa law. I need the fifa law. I want a fifa law. And then, so finally, when she got old enough, I said, Emily, it's not really a fifa law. She goes, it's not? I said, no. It's called a heating pad. Anyway, she goes, Mom! Anyway, so it, would, it really made me realize, though, parents can teach your, you can teach your child to call things, you can make a whole new language up and they will learn it. If your child listens to you and, you know, it's kind of scary and sad that we have so much power over those little children. So anyway, she knows now and I always tell her, of course she slept with me and everything. We were really close, mother, daughter. And so she totally believed everything I told her. So anyway, a fee, it's not really a fee for law. That's our joke now, our whole family's joke. Did you need a FIFA law? Stupid word, but I had to think fast. That was the only word I could make up that had no other meaning. Okay, sorry. Timo, you have to do this for the thumbnail for your advertising picture. Wait, I should have my picture back here with the Timo hair show. Because you know why? Then more people watch. It's sad that Timu is such a drawing. I get over a thousand watches if it's a Timu. But if it's something else, then nobody watches. 
team is so popular. Are we glad? Yes, we're glad to get cheap stuff. Do we need this stuff? Maybe not. Do we want it? Yes, we want as much as we can get. All right, this order, like I say, wasn't very big. If it's the order I'm pulling up. Let me see. It is. And I'll tell you, I spent... I'm telling how much I spent on the order. So if my husband's watching, he won't get furiously mad that I'm spending all of my stuff. All right. You know how they always say, uh, this was $80 and we're giving it to you for $20. All right. So they say at real price, this order would have been seventy, no, $106. But I saved $78. And I, the order came to $28. So they say I saved $78. It might if I bought all this stuff at, you know, at the mall or something. So I had a $9 and $86 credit. So this order only cost me $19.58. So, husband, if you're watching, I only spent that much less than $20 and he spends that much, you know, on a few gallons of milk. I don't drink milk. I love milk, but I don't drink it. All right. What's this thing? What did I buy? Oh, I needed this. It was $12.98 because my other one, it has a short in it and it's a small one. And, you know, nowadays they use the big fat ones for the beach curls. And so I bought this one. And it, I made sure it goes up to the 430 degrees. That's what the professional ones do. The chi, the lang, those good kind. But I don't want to spend 100 bucks or 80 or even 60. I just want to spend 12.98. So, I'm trying it. I'm plugging it in right now. And before I end, then we're going to see. And I'll curl one side and we'll see how it is. I have a plug right here. Because I like everything handy. And that's why I did clean off some of this area. Did you notice? So, I've been cleaning. I'm saving this in case it, I want to send it back, you know? Save these if I want to send it back. If they make me send it back, if I don't like it or whatever. And look, it has little feet. You can't see. It has little feet so it doesn't flat, flat, sit flat. Oh, you got to turn it on. Glad I noticed that. Yeah. Okay, it's on. Oh, and you have to keep pushing it till it gets to the hottest. All right. Now, see, you're going to love my, you, my Timu hauls because I show you in practical instances how things really are. Like these gloves. Now, I've ordered a lot of pair of gloves. I know, but you know why I do? Because I'm spoiled. I want a pair in every coat. And yes, I'm spoiled. I have more than one coat. Like when you were a child, you just had one coat. I'm not going to be that way. And I like to say the cardboard inserts. I know you think that's scroungy. And I know my kids would go, Mom, throw it away. But this is good cardboard. And like you could cut it recipe size. And when you're sitting here, then I could write my recipe on it. And it would be the right kind of paper. Or I need just a note card or so they're just right here by my chair because I like them. All right. I bought these gloves because they were only two fifty four. dollars In our town, we need gloves. My hands are freezing and these are nice. And it says it has this. Does it really work? Yeah. All right. If you watched a few days ago, I bought this coat. So I got it out because I bought these gloves to match it. And here's the pocket. It's going to fit in the pocket. And so, I love it. I am ready for Sunday. 
anyway my coat's ready for Sunday. And then I, I'm going to pick an outfit that matches my coat for Sunday. Okay, let's see. Do they fit in the pocket nicely? <gasps> they do. I wonder if I have to iron the coat. They're kind of, their coat fabric's kind of like felt. So, now look at that. All right. It's going to add to my front butt now when I wear the coat and has, I have to put the gloves on so it won't add to my front butt. All right. My chair over there. I didn't throw it on the floor and I will take care of it. Oh gosh. What did I buy now? Oh, they must have been cheap. 47 cents and 37 cents. I'm not going to pay a lot for these because, you know, they only last for a few days. The thumb, look at my thumb. The nail broke way down. Now, I can't have these looking good and this one looking like this. Like I bit my nail. It broke. I don't bite my nails. So, I buy these to replace and fix. Like my baby one's fake right now because it broke. It was real long and then it bent right here and broke. It hurt too. So I have to buy these to fix. And these I bought because look how tiny they are. Is that focused? Because when I buy regular ones, the baby fingernail does not fit. So I don't have any baby fingernail ones. So I bought two packs of those to fit my baby fingernail ones. And these are ugly. How many did I get? Oh, I got three to fit the baby fingernail ones. And then I got, oh no, I lied. I got four to fit the baby fingernail. I was worried. I got, I got it now. I got it covered. I don't have to ever buy any again. Because you watch the sales and that's when you buy cheap. All right. Then I got these because they're glittery. And they match that, so I will have a glitter finger. I'm gonna put a glittery one on my thumb when I glue one on. And then these are hideous. How much did I pay for them? These were the 37 cent ones. Pink fake nail. Look how the tips are red, like you have blood under your fingernails. Well, I don't like those at all. Maybe I'll give these away to a grandchild. Oh, and I wanted to show you. I went to Family Dollar on my rounds because I needed something. And I bought these because we're going to try this. They have, this is the kind of glue I buy to glue on the two nails here and the one. No, these, these are on my own nails. I didn't need a fake one on this hand. This one's kind of short. But, you know, you hate wearing fake ones. Your own are the best. All right, I bought these two kind of glues at Family Dollar, and they're like $3 for two. And this is the kind I use all the time, and I love them. I love it. What kind is this? Maximum Speed. They have two kinds, Maximum Speed or Mega Hold or Fast Drying. And you know my prediction? I think they're both the same recipe, and they just put it, advertise it different so that people will want to buy two different kinds or try. We're going to have an experiment and I'm going to try both. I don't know how yet. We'll test it. I guess we'll just put a smear on and see which one dries faster or stronger. So we're going to test that out to see which one do we really want to buy. It's Kiss brand. Do we want to have a mega hold? Oh, and it's pink. This one is pink glue. We're going to see how pink it really is. And this one is speedy. So next week we'll do that. But not today. Because I'm too tired. And then the other thing I bought. I'm ashamed to say. But I saved this for swag bucks. Because I take a picture of my receipts. I'm, I'm ashamed to say. But when I drive somewhere. And I get behind the steering wheel. Are any of you like this? I immediately... Fall asleep. That car, and if the sun's shining, it just puts me right to sleep. Even if I'm driving. Tell you a story. All right, one time I was a single mother with my kids, and my kid, my boys were teenagers by then. And so my brother, my younger brother, who's the cop, the homicide detective, 
he lived in this place called Happy Camp, California. It wasn't a camp. It was just a tiny town up in the Tules in the, you, you know, there wasn't a big town for two months, two hours away. But we would go, because we never got to go on vacations as a single mother. My car was bad, wasn't good enough to travel, and my, I didn't have any money. So we would take a little weekend jaunt or whatever, and I could go to my brother's house, and my boys loved it because he'd take them hiking or float in the river and everything. All right, so we went there for the weekend, and I'm driving back home, two hours back home or something. So the kids are all asleep in the car, and I'm the responsible driver. I wasn't drunk, so I was the responsible driver. I never drank in my life, but anyway, that's be and then that's another story I'll tell you after this one. So anyway, I'm driving and I am falling asleep. You can tell, and I don't like to mess around with that. You know, if I'm falling asleep, like I had to travel 30 miles to church because our church in our town was getting remodeled. So we had to go to the other town church and I had to pull over and take a nap before I could get home. And my boys would get so mad. Mom, just keep driving. I said, no, I'm falling asleep. I just need to shut my eyes for a minute, please. So here we are like 10 miles from home and I had to take a little nap. My, they kid me about that, but I'm still the same way. Well, I was driving home from my brothers and I'm driving and I didn't want to stop because all the kids are asleep. I'm looking around, what can I do? Loud music doesn't help rolling down the window and getting cold air doesn't help. All the things they tell you to do if you're falling asleep, I could just go to sleep right through them. It doesn't, it doesn't affect me one bit. So I'm looking around. I found some mustard packets. So I grab it and rip that open and took a big swig of mustard. It woke me right up. So then every time I started to go to sleep again, I would take the mustard and suck on it. And now that's my family joke. If ever you're falling asleep in the car, just get a mustard packet. Get some mustard packets before you travel so that you can stay awake. And that's our family joke. Try it. It works. All right. But here's another thing that works. And I bought a whole case of these. The five-hour energies. Because sometimes I have to stay, I'm required to stay awake, like when I drive. And I keep them on hand because you never know. In the middle of the night, my husband might have a heart attack and I got to drive to Idaho Falls or something. I need them on hand in case it happens because I would be asleep. And you probably wouldn't. And then I bought this from Family Dollar, my makeup. The best makeup in the world and it's the cheapest. This is what makeup I wear. And if it's the wrong color, then I mix them. I don't throw it away because in the summertime, I'm darker than in the winter. And so I have, I'm getting low and I worry. And besides, they sell out fast. $7 at Family Dollar. And they sell out fast. Let's see if it's true. No, it's $8.30. Their signs are all wrong at Family Dollar because they change prices. Everything's going up. Thanks, whoever's responsible for that, who we all know who really is responsible for that. But I'm not going to name names. You all know. And so, um, they, the colors, the popular colors that everybody's in my town is, cause you know, my town is a all white, mostly white town people, they go faster. And so if they have them, I got to buy it cause it's cheaper there. Now it may not be cheaper. All right. Oh, my team order. Sorry. <laughs> Getting back to it. All right, this is a long Timu. All right, I had to laugh at this. This is so funny. Now, maybe somebody could help me with this issue. This was 39 cents. I have some, but because it was 39 cents, I bought some more. It says, one piece, dust proof, and insect, insect proof, handheld can opener. Insect proof. Now, what the heck does that mean? All right, here's what it is. And you put it, because my nails aren't very sturdy and I can't get in there to open a can if you have a long nail, because you don't want to use your nail because it will break. So I bought these and you just slip it on the little tab and go, Doop. so that's what this is. 
but how could this be insect proof? Yeah, an insect isn't going to live in this, but once you open it, your pop's not insect proof. You don't leave it there so the insects can't climb in. Oh, one time. This is why I like these. I always have a drink by my bed at night because, you know, you wake up in the night and you're snoring with your mouth open. I know you guys have that problem too, and your mouth's so dry. So you have to leave a little drink by your bed. Well, in the old days, I would just have a can of whatever there, or even a glass of water. And one time I drank it, and it was a chunkette in my mouth, and it was an earwig. Luckily, I didn't crunch it. I went, and then I found out it was an earwig in my drink. So, you know, to me, this is not going to make your drink dust proof or insect proof. This is going to make it so that it is going to get in bugs and dust in your can. So I think they did that wrong, but I love them. If I could find them when I need to open my can, they should make a hole in it so you could put a chain around it, a string. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a hammer and a nail. I think this will work. My husband will go, what are you hammering now? He gets so mad when I hammer nails in the wall and he hears me hammering. What are you hammering? All you have to do, this is a tip. If you make a hole in the wall, we all have done it. Well, it has to be a little hole. You just get some toilet paper and you chew it up and get it wet and then you take it out of your mouth and then you stick it in the hole. Hopefully your walls are white. And then it just, that toilet paper, you can just mold it to look like sheetrock, textured sheetrock. Works. So then you don't get in trouble for making holes, little holes, hammering them everywhere. And then you leave your DNA behind. They can find out who did it. But no one's, I've never gotten caught before. All right, so I'm going to make, I'm going to get a hammer and see if I can make a hole in this. I bet if you had something hot, you could poke it in there and pierce it. But my curling iron's hot, but it wouldn't help me. What's, and I don't have a wood burning little hole maker. I don't have anything hot I could stick in there. So I'm going to have to use a nail and then I'm going to tie a string on it a pretty string, a piece of yarn color that matches and tie it to something around here so I can just do it. And I'll always know where it is because I like things hanging around, remember? Are you bored yet? Are you saying, shut up now? I, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Sorry. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I had more than I thought. All right, you guys, I want to try it. I've, I've thought about it every time I do this, and I just want to try it. Just bear with me for one minute, all right? And, you know, I know you wanted to try, too. Just bear with me. I knew it would sit over my head. I just, I just out of curiosity, wanted to try it. Don't tell anybody I did that. All right. Oh, see, I already ordered one of these, and here's another one. But it was only 80 cents or something. Oh, this one was $1.07. But I'll give it away. But look, the brooch for St. Patrick's Day. And it's on Sunday. So whoever I give it to, I need to give it to someone who's going to church on Sunday because they're not going to work on Sunday, probably. Oh, I ordered two. Now I can have two hanging around. Well, no. If that one breaks when I hammered the nail in it, I have a spare. I'm going to ask my husband, do you have any way you can burn a hole in this? I don't know what possessed me to buy this because I don't know if I would ever wear it. How much did I pay for it? $1.70. I bought the black ones for my shoes. Oh, it's so well made. It's so beautiful. Wait, I'll hold it like this. It has a safety pin thing on the back. Look at it. How beautiful. I could put it right here on my St. Patrick's Day dress. It does have a, it does have a V-neck. Oh, look, that looks so good. Doesn't. But for St. Patrick's Day, I can get away with it, right? Because you're supposed to look that way. All right. This is, remember I bought, I bought these, uh, this seam ripper. 
Well, I must have realized that is not even a good seam ripper. Everybody, every house needs one of these, whether you sew or not. See that? To pick out things and to repair things and to get things out of there, whatever. But I'm going to tell you something. I didn't learn this until a few years ago when I'm this old, almost 70. See this little red dot for you sewers who know this? Most people, when you rip things, trying to find something I could pretend with, I don't want to use my coat. I'll use my shirt. Oh, it doesn't have a seam. Oh, dang. Well, I'll just have to pretend because I got to show you this. All right, most people take their seam ripper and they put it in like this and they go like this and rip it. And in my early days, I did rip the fabric. That's wrong. We've been doing it wrong. You're supposed to have the little ball down in the hole of the stitches and do it this way, not up. I didn't know that. Try it and you will find out that that is a much better way to do it. I have a lot of seam rippers because... I ordered like four of them, came in a pack, but they're this kind. And then this always breaks. This part, I must have glued it in. It breaks. Well, this kind is a nicer handle and more nicer, heavy dutier. And I, I and it's a longer hand, I like that kind better. Now these, my sisters ordered them and I see people on YouTube using these when they sew and cut out things and then they don't pin it anymore. They just use these little clips. Can you see them? So I ordered a whole bag of them because I want to be like the modern people are. 328 for 50 of them. I'm going to try them. But I still think a straight pin has its place that will work better, but I'll, I'll let you know. Because I usually am so desperate for material, for YouTube material, I let you, I follow up on things. All right, here it is. I'm combing my hair. And see, when I comb it, it just gets frizzy. Because I have a little curl in my hair. And you people know that have curl in your hair. If you brush it, it comes out like this. And you have like big hair. Now I put some of that number 10 leave in. It's purple bottle, blue, maybe blue bottle or something. Leave in conditioner. I put that in the ends of my hair. So I do have some product in it. <laughs> it's hot and ready. We're going to try it. All right. Oh, you know what? I usually have, haven't used this kind in years. You have to start at the bottom, don't you? With this kind. All right. It's going to be a big beach wave. We're going to see. Okay, let me feel. Oh, yeah, it's hot. See, look at that one, middle fingernails, like real short. But I don't want a fake one on it because I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm doing stuff. All right. I usually count to 10. Nine, ten. Pretend I did. Okay, here it is. All right. Huh. Well, I don't know. But so far, this isn't the look I want. Maybe I didn't leave it long enough. My other one would have done much better. See, now this hair, when I curl it, I part this because it's... You don't want to use that much hair. So I have to do this section and then this section. So now let's, I'm going to leave it in a little bit longer. We're going to count to the real 10. All right. Go to the end. All right. Here we go. Wind it up. Whoops. I missed a piece. It's okay. I'm not, I'm just going to bed tonight. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. That was real fast. So I know that was longer than the seconds. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, that's better, don't you think? Okay. Except I went the wrong way. You're supposed to go away from your face. Did I go forward? Uh, see, it's not going to be... This will be like if I wanted straight hair. And it still has a... No. I'm not a fan of it. Because why? Is it my... Is it user fault? Here I am going in again. Is it user fault or is it wand fault? I think I need a smaller one. And I don't think I want the clamp on. I like the kind you just wrap around. So that's good to know. Okay, there. Some people go like this and then they pin it here and they let it cool. Have you seen that? I saw that rule and you put it right here and then you let it cool. And then after it's cool, you take it down. But see over here, this is already ugly. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. That's that hair back there. I don't think I'm a fan. Gonna have to buy a Chi? Gonna have to buy a, I don't wanna spend that much money on it. I don't have that. People think I'm rich, but my husband gives me an allowance every month and I got to pay my phone bills. I got to pay, oh, I pay his phone too. He gets the big money and then he gives me an allowance. And then I get to put my allowance with my 250 social security check. But, you know, I usually spend it all because I'm not going to die with money in my bank, children. I'm spending my money. But when it's gone, it's gone, and I don't get to spend any more then, right? So I have a budget, and I don't want to spend a hundred. I had to buy my phone, that was five hundred. That was like half of my paycheck. So if I can get it cheaper, then I get more money to buy a different coat. It's your priorities, I know, wherever you lay your priorities at. And then he goes to the grocery store and spends a whole bunch. But he only buys food like he likes, like milk. He hasn't been weaned yet, so he buys a lot of milk. And then he buys chicken. because Well, he makes the best chicken, breaded, fried chicken. They're, they're like chicken nuggets. I forgot to count. I think that's long enough. Okay. <sighs> All right. You gotta hook this up and let it cool. Not dry, it's cooling. Is this cool yet? Dry. <sighs> what we do. And then my husband, he gets ready and I'm like, it's, we're leaving in 15 minutes, Jamie. And then he goes and gets ready. I mean, we're talking a whole outfit and his hair combed 15 minutes before we leave and he's ready. I've been working at it for over an hour getting ready to go. It's not fair. I think that's why women cut their hair short like men's haircut. This is so ugly with this orange. It's so beautiful, though. Oh, it's too big for... Oh, could I wear it for a hair thing? I'm going to wear it for a hair thing on St. Patrick's Day. Because I already have one of these for my blouse. Okay. You might see me. All right, let's see now. Oh, that is better. Except I would have to hairspray it. And would it stay like that? I don't know. <laughs> I'll keep it, even though I'm just going to, for $12.98, they had a smaller one. I think I need the smaller one, $12.98. I'm going to order the smaller one. Let me see if they have, a, oh, it's discontinued. Of course, they have a million of them on here. I'll have to look at what, you know, they tell us the centimeters, what you ordered. And that means nothing to us Americans who do not, think that way. We think in inches. I'll have to measure it and get the next smaller one down. But I don't have one like this. So I could put this with the hair appliance drawer. I have one of those. Wish I had a other curling iron in there. But this will add to my collection. Oh, wait. It's gotten cooled down. Maybe that's why. 
Okay, I'll just keep working with it. But look, you couldn't do your bangs. You're gonna burn yourself. <laughs> One time I did that, had a big burn on your forehead. Have you ever done that? I've done that. And I, it hurts. I didn't burn myself. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Okay, so that's my day today. I'm gonna keep curling it so when I go to bed, I'll look really good. And I hope my husband, I think my husband tonight for dinner is gonna make his chicken. I should video it and show you guys. But he makes a special recipe for the breading. He gets bread crumbs and cracker crumbs and I don't know what seasoning he puts in it. And then he he's experimented a lot because he wanted it to be perfect. And then he just has a tiny bit of olive oil in the pan, not a lot. Because, you know, we aren't having deep fat fried anything with our weight. Some people like everything deep fat fried cooking, but we don't eat that way. So, oh, look, I have this part to do, too. Uh, I'm not going to curl it all tonight. Okay. Goodbye.